Hi, hello guys. Uh, you're watching our live program on the Belter Road Initiative. Um, I'm Shang Yang with Xinhua News Agency. Today we are here at one of the best beef noodle uh, restaurants in Lanzhou, half the city of northwest China's uh, Gansu province here. Uh, this is a very, very typical uh, beef noodle shop here or restaurant here in Lanzhou. And uh, well, at lunchtime right now, a lot of local uh, nearby office workers or uh, residents who don't want to cook for lunch today, they will come here and have beef noodles. Well, I cannot describe how much uh, a beef noodles mean for local people. It cannot be described in words here, but I am here at this restaurant. Well, uh, sitting with me today uh, is two of the local customers here are eating right now, guys. So let me let me ask them uh, why they're here today. Hello. Uh, Miss Ma and uh, her son are having uh, beef noodles here for lunch. Uh, well, if we take a look at China, uh, they're considered to be the best beef noodles here. For a typical order, they will have uh, this uh, tender uh, sliced noodle, a uh, beef, tender sliced beef, and pickled veggie, cucumber, and also a broiled egg, which was cooked uh, with uh, beef soup. So uh, this is actually a typical order for local people. Well, it's really not just a name card uh, for Lanzhou beef model. It's really a part of their lives. As you see at this restaurant at lunchtime, people are just coming in and to have a bowl of steaming hot beef models now. But one typical interesting thing is here you have a open kitchen where you can actually see the cooks uh, making the noodles handmade noodles here at Lanzhou a beef noodle restaurant this is the so you can see customers will actually pick noodles here and uh, now we will begin we will begin our culinary adventure and we will go to We'll head to the kitchen, guys, and uh, to have a look of how this handmade uh, beef model is actually made. So, um, if you are just if you are just joining us here, we're live uh, at Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter, and we will now we will now head to the kitchen. We will now head to the kitchen and uh, take a clip of how the China's made actually you guys so, culinary uh, adventure so yes uh, this is our special program for a uh, belt and road initiative we're here in Lanzhou, capital city of northwest of china's Gansu province for a live tour of this very famous authentic uh, Lanzhou beef noodle restaurant just just let you guys know these are just these are just uh all the pickled veggie small plates which are being prepared for customers for a typical uh, Lanzhou beef noodle uh, order they will have a two small plates of veggie pickled veggies and maybe a broiled egg that were cooked in a beef a soup and uh, also a beef noodle wow guys so we are right now here at the kitchen for an exclusive Look of how the handmade noodles are actually made. So we can actually see how uh, the noodles are actually stretching, pull, and really pound out. Stretching the noodles. Any questions? If you have any questions, guys, regarding how the beef noodles are made here, feel free to 
ask any questions if you want. Now you're welcome to uh, the noodles here. Boil the noodles. Now this is the matter of the bowl. The noodle masters are actually you know, the flour to make lentil uh, beef noodles is really mixed with a special material. Uh, it's diluted pongfei. Uh, diluted pongfei. Uh, pongfei is a pongfei tao, which is a uh, very special uh, high alkali uh, herbage brown in Gobi Desert. So adding, so adding pongfei to the flour will make the noodles more chewy, tenacious, and elastic. And that's one secret to making beef noodles in Lanzhou. So guys, uh, this is the open kitchen of one of the very famous local restaurants in Lanzhou. We are touring checking out how uh, this very famous uh, actually made. You know, these noodle masters will actually uh, start to meet the surface every single day. And uh, flour is mixed with a special herbage that play, uh, which is the burnt ashes of pumpkin or a Adding that to the flour will help the, make the noodles more chewy, elastic, and tenacious. Wow, I'm just talking to one of the um, cooks here and uh, sometimes for a single day he will make about a thousand bowls of beef noodles for customers.
跟调整完毕，如果实在是没有声音的话，那就。This is the open kitchen at one of the best uh, beef noodles. So if we come closer, we can actually see how the dough was made. So the flour to make Lanzhou beef noodles has to be mixed with diluted peng hui, which is the burnt ashes of uh, peng chai chao, a very special high alkali herbage ground in the Gobi Desert. And adding that to the flour will actually make the noodles more truly elastic and tenacious. So every single day, the noodle masters here, the roll and the braised soup base from very early hours. Uh, you know, the soup and the dough are actually fundamental to the making of beef noodles in Lanzhou. They can be helping the noodles uh, appear more truly elastic and uh, tenacious. So that's the secret of making Lanzhou beef noodles here, you want uh, the noodles to taste, you know, different, uh, to appear more chewy and uh, elastic. And we're adding a special uh, a peng hui, a diluted peng hui, you know, the burnt ashes from a uh, Gobi Desert ground of high alkali herbage. The process of kneading the dough. So this will take hours, and the uh, noodle masters here will, will do this every single day. And what we have are This is one of the cooks here. You see, as they're divided into so each block will serve one bowl of beef noodles here. Now he is stretching, stretching the dough, and throw it to that uh, pot, a big pot there. So uh, watch uh, cooks stretch, pull, and pound out the noodles right in front of customers when they are waiting outside the window and to pick up their order. So you have this watching process which really adds to the appeal of beef noodles in Lanzhou. Now I'm wa I wanted to uh, my hands. I wanted to really try to stretch it a little bit myself. So first I'm gonna wash my hands guys. Now I wanted to really try to experience that uh, hand uh, noodle hand making process. Can you hold it? It's really elastic. 
可能再重新来嘛。Um, you cannot stretch it very, very long. Um, this is my first time trying to make. Can you tell me? Can you tell me? Yes. Can you tell me? So roll it over on the board. You cannot let the dough get off the board. You roll it over like this. What happens next? 接下来呢？你跟我说说。说，你把这说均匀那个，然后就两个手平衡一点拉出去。So you have to. You cannot let the dough get off the board. Now he is cooking for the customer. Okay. You see, <laughs> this is what. This is what. It's a mess. But the dough is, you know, here, uh, the special material to make them tenacious. Do the same thing. I cannot do that. It's so difficult. Mission Impossible. So they're all like maybe over a dozen different types of noodle according to the the noodle and the shape of it. This is a relatively wide. I think in less than a few minutes. He has already made several bowls of beef noodles for customers. This is so fast. This takes so little amount of time for him to do that. Uh, uh, can you uh, make very thin noodles for us? Can you make a mouse head, okay? Just as thin as your hair. You see how he stretches? Wow, guys, guys, take a look. This is how thin the noodle is. It's just one of the types here. I can go thinner. Even thinner. Take a look. It's like magic here. This is an open kitchen. I want to put that beef noodles here. Well, now he has to cook this for a customer, but. Noodles can be. Okay. Now we have a lot of customers waiting. We don't wanna. We don't wanna to um, let them wait. Now, show time, guys. Just let you guys know how thin the noodles can be. Now, let me see. It's getting thinner and thinner. Oh wow. Can you imagine? These are actually noodles. These are actually noodles, guys. Wow. So there are over a dozen, over a dozen types of noodles that can be made according to the width, the shape. I don't like the other one. I like the one that's the shorter one. Now I'm going to show you how wide the noodle can be. So guys. Lanzhou, you know, the capital city of Gansu Province, northwest of China. Uh, this is our special program on the Belt and Road Initiative. And today we got very lucky to experience 
the making of Lanzhou beef noodles, the best in China. Take a look now. Now we're going to be showing you how wide the noodle can be. As your tie, guys. It's, I think that's the widest tie in shop. This is the most So he is very busy today. Um, you know, between uh, working for the customers, he has to show us how uh, this very special local food is made. How beautiful he is. Um, it's really a very skillful technique. I when I tried to stretch, I cannot see it can be. appears very easy, but when I do it, if you're not professional, it sounds like mission impossible. You know, do you have to go stamina to be able to do this? You need to train every day, then you need to do this. We need to train but this is just like in the gym. You're doing exercise every single minute here at this open kitchen. So if you have any questions, I want you guys to ask because uh, we only have a limited amount of time to uh, for this open kitchen tour, a floor to taste the food. You want to ask the noodle masters here. Feel free. How long have you learned this? You uh, should have Three years. It took to learn the skill and be a one of the cooks here at the restaurant. Um, do you learn this from a master or you go to a specific training school? Learn from one master. How many hours will you spend at the kitchen every single day? Ten hours, guys. He works at this open kitchen to the noodles for each and single. This is a typical restaurant here in Lanzhou. Uh, you know, nearby office workers will rush in during lunch time to have the Lanzhou beef noodles. So, the flour to make uh, Lanzhou beef noodles has to be mixed with diluted Peng Hui, uh, which is the burnt ashes of Peng Chai Cao, a special brown herbage in Gobi Desert, and adding that to the flour will make the noodles more chewy, elastic, and tenacious. So that's why... So we are here uh, touring the Lanzhou beef noodles, guys. Beef noodles in Lanzhou. Best noodles, beef noodles in China. So these are the different ways to make the noodles. It's an ordinary flour mixed with a special material. You know, Lanzhou is the capital of China's Gansu province, and the noodle is a very authentic Lanzhou beef noodles. China. So everything has to be in order. You know, uh, the masters will, will, will cook uh, the noodle, uh, the dough, and someone will take care of the, bro the boiling pot there, and you'll pound out the noodles into the pot, make it to have 
added to the noodle and then you add to different uh, ingredients uh, like cilantro this is in Gansu now we are at uh, the of beef noodles at this open kitchen we just now the noodle masters were able to pull, pull, stretch and pull the noodles and uh, so the process to see how the dough is divided into different and each block is used for a Will actually stretch and uh, make it very different because there are so many different types of noodles here according to its width and the shape of the noodles. This is just ordinary flour mixed with a special material we call that tonghui. It's an ordinary flour, um, but I want to. For you guys, this flour is just ordinary flour, but it's special material. Okay, this is a special flour. 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 那么这种专门做牛肉面的面粉是有什么不一样吗？对，跟青道不一样。就是专门有一种面粉就叫牛肉面面粉。对对对，对对对。哎呀，是的。可以吃，所以我们可能会遇到一些问题，呃，并不是很均匀，或者是太密集。Uh, odd flow here, so I want you guys to uh, understand that we're at the open kitchen. There, there might be some signals uh, disrupting. Uh, I want you uh, to know kitchen. Uh, the audio flow might be a little uh, disrupted, but I want you to stay tuned as we have more exciting stuff to show you later in our live show today. That um, we need flour to make lanzhou new beef noodles with penghui. Penghui is the the burnt ashes of peng chai which is which is a special uh, high alkali herbage grown specifically in the Gobi Desert. So that you understand the material we use. This is just one. Boil the noodles, and that base, the soup base over there, guys. Um, this is the soup base, which is stewed with beef. This soup base here, and then you have to the soup, and then have the red oil, and we have a, some green. That will be noodle. So, any questions if you want? Since we are at the open kitchen here, at uh, one of the uh, best uh, Lanzhou beef noodles. Uh, Lanzhou is the finest Gansu province here. So, any questions you want to ask? Feel free to do that because I am with one of the noodle masters here, and he just showed you guys. How to stretch and 
that this is my first time trying. So it looks like Mission Impossible for me, but for him appears so easy, so effortless. So, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, that was one of the noodle masters here at the open kitchen. We just showed you guys the process. We see it for real, like how the noodles were stretched, pounded out, uh, you know, pulled on that uh, metal cooking board. Now we're getting out of the kitchen. The next is going to be even more exciting, guys. We will have a taste. And besides beef noodles in this restaurant, you know, the first floor is mainly for those who are here, only for a bowl of noodles. Uh, and if we go to the second floor, we can taste all those different kinds of Northwestern style snacks in China. So this is in the city of Lanzhou, capital of Northwest China's Gansu province, uh, one of the best beef noodle restaurants here. So now we're getting into the second floor. Before you guys go, take a look here. These are just the vacuum packages of beef noodles that you can take as gifts and you can send it to your friends when you have a chance to visit Lanzhou. Now I'm getting to the second floor. We're going to taste all different kinds of uh, Northwestern style uh, snacks here, guys. So stay tuned. This is going to be a mouth-watering journey here as all different kinds of all different kinds of so i know you have a lot of questions you know how the noodles are made is the flour a ordinary flour or a different one i got i will get your answer right away when we get to the dining table and actually show you uh the cooked beef noodles here in lanzhou this is alalan restaurant in lanzhou uh, one of the best well guys um uh, Joining me today is Mr. Li Jian. He is one of the owners at this restaurant. So say hi to our viewers. Hello, hello. Hi, he says hello everyone. So we're going to sit down. We're going to sit down here. Uh, I'm going to get off this costume, especially uh, I was in the kitchen. But I want to take a look of what we're going to be having today, guys. So sit down, Li. Thank you. Uh, we're gonna be I'm very excited uh, this is lunchtime now and uh, we will have a taste of all the different kinds of local snacks here uh, Wow a special special kind of local tea here you have all these put into the teacup uh, red dates and uh, a very nice very nicely cooked uh, local yogurt guys a very thick yogurt well now we will have more dishes coming in and uh, let me know all the questions you have since we're having Lee with us today and he will be more than willing to answer any of your questions regarding how the beef noodles are made and for each of the snacks that we will be having later so please stay with us I want you to join us for this exciting and uh, mouth-watering journey here I'm gonna take a tea uh -huh. Uh -huh. so when you drink the tea here you have always to take the lead and uh, do this and then you drink it So uh, what we're having today, uh, what's our first dish? Okay. Okay, so we're gonna have hui um, It's a very sweet and thick soup that was made with a special pea uh, in local areas and uh, with red dates and rock candies. So when everything was mixed in that and you stewed uh, the soup and you have that. Wow, this is hui dous, a sweet, a sweet, sweet, thick soup and was stewed with peas, with red dates and raw candies. Mm -hmm. 
too. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a bite right now. So good. Thank you, thank you so much. Uh, you know, guys, we had um, when I told you, this is Alalan restaurant, and uh, so our first floor is mainly um, for those who are here for just a bowl of beef noodles. But for the second floor, it's for bigger parties. If you have five or six people, you come here, and you can not only have a taste for the beef noodles, you can also come here and have a have a taste of all these different kind of local snacks here this is a sweet thick soup that was stewed with um, peas you know a special kind of pea here and also uh, rock candies and red dates everything was mixed together and you stew that and then you have this very delicious tasty soup here it's called hui dous in local language very nice I want to have more. I want to have more. So can we have? Can we serve more right now? So guys, we're live at uh, the beef noodle restaurants here in Lanzhou. And uh, before we have the ultimate beef noodle, we will take all these different kinds of uh, local snacks. This is what? What's this? This is called milk and cheese dumpling. It's um, egg. This is egg milk laozo. You know, uh, if you want to describe it clearly, this is actually egg drop in milk that was mixed with a fermented, fermented, a uh, glutinous rice soup. You can now the show. Thank you. Mm. You can taste. Um, the egg, the milk, there's sesame on top, and then um, the fermented glutinous rice soup. Everything was mixed together. This is a special, really a special flavor here. Well, so when people come here, are these the best um, dishes? Their their most favorite dishes here? 这是他们一般关就是顾客们最爱点的吗？对，尤其是这个牛奶鸡蛋老早营养价值非常高。嗯。This is such a healthy food here. This egg milk uh, laozao, you know, as I said, is egg drop in milk and mixed with glutinous, uh, fermented uh, glutinous rice soup here. Uh, very unique flavor here, but it's very, very healthy. It's such a healthy food for local people. And that is hui dous, as I said earlier, a sweet, thick soup stewed with peas, red dates, and rock candies. So joining me today is Mr. Li Jian. He is one of the owners here at Alalan Restaurant in the city of Lanzhou, capital of Northwest China's Gansu province. I want to have more food coming in, guys. So this is a rotating round. Oh, God, this is my favorite. I'm going to explain why. This is called so in Chinese, it's su su de. Actually, if we can translate in literal uh, literary meaning, should be crispy crispy. Well, of course it is crispy, and this is just a rectangular stick that was made with egg, milk, and flour. It's a sweet uh, fried snack here. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Let me finish this before I say anything. A very special local fried snack that was in the shape of rectangular sticks. It's made of um, egg, milk, and flour. Now, tell us what this is. This is called the name of the Liu Meteor fruits plate, like meteor sour. Well, it's just um, a piece of art here as they present the food for you. All kinds of fruits here. 
it's just a very interesting way of pre presenting them to the customers here. Well, you can eat it. Okay, okay, thank you. So uh, I'm gonna have an apple. Okay, I'm gonna use my hand <laughs> since I'm eating it myself. Okay, it's apple. Very interesting. So guys, um, if you're just joining us here, we're live at um, one of the best beef noodle restaurants in Lanzhou, the capital city of Northwest China's Gansu province. Um, this is our special live program for the Belt and Road Initiative. And this we're touring Lanzhou because this city is world renowned for its best handmade beef noodles. And earlier we were at the kitchen, the open kitchen, and we just see, um, we, know we, have, we watched the whole process of how each bowl of noodles were actually made, hand pulled. And now we're getting to the second floor here, sitting at this round rotating dining table. We're gonna have taste a few different kinds of Northwestern style local snacks in China. They're very famous, very tasty. Before we have the ultimate beef noodles served. So we're getting more and more stuff coming. So this is this is this is uh, This is a very this is a very special noodle. This is a very special noodle uh, made of the thick liquid left from washed dough. And then here it's mixed with red chili oil, cucumber, and gluten. So I'm gonna I'm gonna have some. Okay, you like jiaoban. Okay, Ali will uh, mix it a little bit for us before I can have a taste. So if we take a look, this is a very, very different kind of noodle with a very different texture. It's not just made originally from flour, it's made from the thick liquid left from washed, washed dough, guys. And that's the way of how this noodle is made. Uh, it's very thick, it's very white, and then it's mixed with cucumber, red chili oil, and some gluten. Let's have a taste. Everything, it's just so good. You know, when you come to Northwestern China, you have the taste of their specially made, you know, flour um, foods here. Now this one is actually made of the thick liquid left from washed dough. So all kinds of different uh, products here and the food here are um, presented very unique ways of using the dough, the flour, and, and how they're being used. I'm going to keep eating. Okay, Lee, you have to introduce this one. Oh, <coughs> Oh, I'm sorry. Um, it's a very sweet and sour um, stir fry dish, which is, I'm getting very excited. That's why I lost one of the chopsticks here. <coughs> well, I guess that one is a little spicy, right? Okay. Okay, now let me introduce this one. This is actually a stir fry dish. This is ground beef. Ground beef in a thin egg made wrap. So, ground beef in the middle and then wrapped up with a thin layer of egg. So, this is a thin egg made wrap. 
And then in the middle, we have the ground beef. Tastes good. Now, we have more stuff coming in, guys. Okay, this is such a big one. Take a look. So what's this? Uh, this is It's made of lamb or mutton. Uh, so this is a special noodle. Uh, this is a special Hand, um, hand rolled uh, noodle. Hand, uh, uh, hand rolled noodle. 就是有点土豆粉的意思是吗？对对对，是纯手工的。yeah, it's hand rolled noodle made with flour mixed with extracted potato powder. So the texture of this noodle is very, very different, guys. Now, Lee has been sitting with me. I know I have been eating for quite a long time. I want him to have a taste of this one. You like this one? This is mutton. And that is a special kind of a noodle made with flour mixed with extracted uh, potato powder. Mm. Good. So what's your favorite meat? Uh, beef or mutton? Um, he prefers mutton. You know, mutton is very famous in local, uh, for local people in Lanzhou. And uh, they have all kinds of ways of making mutton and this is a stir fried dish uh, you see this is hot chili oil this is hot chili oil red chili oil this is cilantro here and uh, some onions scallions and then you have this very special type of noodle uh, made with a flour and mixed with uh, extracted potato powder and uh, this is mutton uh, her he is a favorite uh, Meat here in, for local people. Actually, a lot of people like mutton uh, here in Northwestern. Um, now we have one, two, three, four, five, well, six dishes right now. Which one is your favorite? What? You, 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 you know, uh, the mutton with the noodles looks like clear noodles. And uh, also, this is egg milk lauza, which is egg drop in milk mixed with fermented glutinous rice soup. Wow, we have another one. This is a wide. This is a wide. This is a wide. This this is another wide noodle. As I said, you know, there are just so many kinds of noodles here in Lanzhou. This is a wide. This is a wide. This is a wide noodle uh, made with flour with uh, extracted uh, potato powder. Mm. Delicious. Why don't you have some? You like it? Okay. So um, this is our live show. Uh, here at one of the local restaurants here. It's Alalan restaurant and we want to introduce the very authentic local uh, snacks and uh, but next is our ultimate beef noodles Here we're going to show you different kinds of beef noodles here, you know uh, Noodles are categorized into different types according to its width and according to its shape so later on, we'll have three different bowls of beef noodles that are cooked uh, in a different shape. So guys, uh, if you are just joining us here, uh, we are live um, at China Xinhua News. This is our special program for the Belt and Road Initiative. 
and this week we're touring northwest of China's Gansu province and today specifically we're in this capital city Lanzhou. Lanzhou is famous for its beef noodles. They're considered to be the best ones in China. So here we are, have a taste of the beef noodles here in Lanzhou. We were just showing you the open kitchen. There we had a culinary adventure in the kitchen which is open for customers and everyone to see how the noodles were actually handmade and now we are uh, at uh, one of um, the restaurant rooms uh, here we will have a taste of all those different kinds of local uh, snacks uh, now uh, we will be having our cooks actually cooking the noodles for us right now I know that a lot of you guys are waiting to see where are the noodles. We will bring them on right away in about a minute. So please stay tuned before uh, you can have a taste or you have a very unique, uh, exclusive look of how these noodles are. You know, uh, how they were pulled, stretched. We showed you the process. The noodle masters were working there. They spend 10 hours in the kitchen every day. You know, the, the soup and the dough were actually made from very early hours. And then that are very fundamental to the making of the beef noodles here. So I want to ask Lee, the owner of the, sh uh, the restaurant, how many customers will actually come here uh, for beef noodles? How many people will come here to eat beef noodles? Okay, he just told me about 2,000 customers will actually come in for a bowl of noodle uh, each and a single every day. As I said, um, beef noodles for Lanzhou, uh, for the local people, is more like spaghetti to Italy. Uh, you cannot describe in words how much they love this local food and uh, it's really a part of their lives. I was just talking to one of the customers there when they were having a tasting of the noodles. Okay, I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop talking right now because our noodles are just coming in guys. I want you to stay tuned. I want you to take a look of this very famous, Hello. Our beef noodles, guys. We have three different bowls of beef noodles today. And we will introduce them one by one. Okay, so this is the ultimate. This is the ultimate Lanzhou beef noodles, guys. So I said earlier, according to its shape, according to its um, uh, the wife, we have all different kinds of types of noodles here. So, I have to answer one of your questions, one of our frequently asked questions. What is the flour? Is the flour special? Of course, the flour is, um, the flour to make Lanzhou beef noodles is actually ordinary flour uh, made, mixed with penghui, I have to introduce that. What is peng hui? It's one of the secrets of making Lanzhou beef noodles. So peng hui is actually the burnt ashes of peng chai cao, which is a specially grown uh, herbage, very high alkali herbage ground in the Gobi Desert. So you get that and you extract it into powder and then you mix it with water. That's we say diluted peng hui. And then we add that, we pull that into the dough into the flour and then we knead them together so in that way so in that way the flour uh, that to make the the noodles will appear the noodles will appear more chewy elastic and tenacious that's that is one of the secrets making Lanzhou beef noodles because we have a material that has been added to the dough that are to make the noodles here it's peng hui you know Diluted peng hui. Uh, peng hui is actually the burnt ashes of peng chai cao, which is a specially grown herbage in Gobi Desert. So we have three different kinds of noodles here. This one is a normal. Okay, this is this is in triangle prism here. The shape of this noodle is triangle prism, and. This one is just as thin as your hair, maybe. Mao xi. Mao xi. It's the thinnest. 
the thinnest noodle that we have at this restaurant right now. I guess this one. This is the widest one, guys. The widest one here at this restaurant. All different kinds of types. You know, in Lanzhou beef noodle, there is a saying: five colors, five colors, right? Yes, yes, yes. So, yi bai is. Ah, is yi qing. Yi qing is tang qing. So we have the clear broth. Uh, uh, we have the clear broth with tender uh, sliced beefs, and then we have yi qing er bai. Er bai. The second color is the white radish, the white radish, and then hong. Red is the chili oil that we're talking about. And then we have the green, which is a garlic bolt and uh, cilantro, cilantro and garlic bolt. Wu huang and the yellow, because the noodle exude a slightly pale yellow here. So that's the five colors of Lanzhou beef noodles. Can I have some right now? I'm going to So now we're going to have a taste, guys. The most exciting moment right now, as I wanted to have a taste of the ultimate Lanzhou beef noodles. Mmm. And all the secret lies in the soup and uh, the texture of the noodle here. <laughs> okay, Li is gonna taste the widest noodle. This is Lanzhou beef noodle, guys. This is white radish. Now, let's have a closer look of this noodle here. Hot, steaming beef noodle, guys, from Lanzhou, capital of northwest China's Gansu province. You know, um, this is the shape of this one is actually triangle prism. Triangle prism. You know, noodles are categorized into different types according to its width and shape. This is a very thinner, thinner one. You know, um, the noodle can be as wide as your tie, it can, can be as thin as your hair, guys. Great, very good taste here. So guys, you are just watching our live program um, on the Belt and Road Initiative and uh, we're touring the province of Gansu in northwest China this week and today we are at Lanzhou. If you hear that name, Lanzhou, it's the city famous for its beef noodles. That's why we're here today. We just talked to Li, one of the owners of this restaurant, Alala restaurant. We tasted the ultimate beef beef noodles here. And so I'm gonna keep eating, and but I don't. I want you to continue follow our live shows as we will bring you more exciting stuff as we are in Lanzhou, guys. So bye for now. I'm gonna eating, but I'll see you soon, guys. Let's eat. Can I? Okay.